to microglobulin amyloids and transition metals by Michael Driscoll, Hilary Chow, Anya Novakova, and Ju Wang. What is beta-2 microglobulin? It is a monomeric protein, which is a component of the class 1 major histocompatibility complex. The turnover of this protein um, results in its release from the complex, um, and it is sent to the kidney for degradation. The small size of the protein allows it to pass through the glomeral membrane and be reabsorbed by proximal tubules in nephrons in the kidneys. Dialysis-related amyloidosis, or DRA, um, results in patients that are undergoing dialysis who have kidney disease, where this protein builds up, forms aggregates that further deposit in amyloid fibers in the joints and connective tissues, which furthermore cause organ damage and tissue damage. Hemodialysis is known to stimulate the production of this protein. Experiment one of the paper that we used uh, studies the effect of transition metals on this protein's oligomerization aggregation. Three transition metals were compared that have a similar ionic radius and each have unique binding preferences. Nickel has no oligomerization or aggregation with this protein. Zinc was found to have both qualities, but no amyloid fibro formation was found. The purpose of this study was to identify key features of beta-2 microglobulin and copper interaction that caused amyloidosis. The first method used is called thioflavin T fluorescence, where around 483 nanometers uh, one can find the amyloid species and these species occurred for the copper and the zinc complexes, while the nickel showed no complex formation, as shown in figure three um, for these amyloid species. The second method used is known as size exclusion chromatography, where oligomeric species were found for each of the complexes. Only the zinc and copper complexes formed these oligomeric species, as shown in figure four on the second graph and in the third graph. The third method used is known as transmission electron microscopy, where figure five shows that amyloid plaques only form on the left for the copper complexes and amorphous plaques form on the right for zinc complexes. Uh, SDS solution was also used um, to dissolve the complexes and show if true amyloids formed and they only formed for the copper. Our conclusion is that Copper, too, is unique in inducing amyloid formation in this For the second experiment in the paper that we looked at, they studied the binding nature of transition metals to beta-2. They used two techniques, the first being extended X-ray absorption of fine structure. From this, they found that beta the beta-2M copper-2 complex was a five-coordinate model with four protein ligands and one anion, which the anion was from the buffer. For the beta-2M nickel-2 complex, they found that it was a six-coordinate model with two protein ligands and four anions. They also used metal-catalyzed oxidation mass spectrometry for the binding site residues. It was discovered that nickel-2 and copper-2 compete for the same binding nucleus, whereas zinc-2 has a completely different... And the results. Copper-2 binds more amide nitrogens, which is a feature of amyloid-forming systems. It forms dimer-stabilizing stabil salt bridges with aspartic acid and allows cis-trans isomerization of proline-23, both of which are necessary for dimer assembly. Dimer formation is critical for amyloid formation. Zinc-2 forms different dimers than copper-2, which they form via a bridge via the histidines. Amyloid formation comes specifically from copper-2 with beta-2M's coordination site, as well as its geometry. For future research, drug candidates are needed for those suffering from DRA. High-throughput computational screening can be used on a library of known compounds for possible inhibitors of amyloid formation. Covalent labeling, coupled with bottom-up mass spectrometry, can be used to determine the binding sites of inhibitor candidates. And then fluorescent spectroscopy can be used to produce an assay to determine the extent of unfolding of beta-2M and the presence of said candidate inhibitors.